This video is a five-part class for anybody who wants to feel better, have more energy, maybe lose some weight, or manage health issues, and do it all through what you eat. Because the video is divided into five one-on-one -on -one daily coaching sessions, and it's meant to be enjoyed over the whole week. So you can spend time working with me to practice the basics of the diet and get comfortable fitting the fundamentals into your personal lifestyle. In each chapter, I'll cover one of the four most important parts of the famously healthy Mediterranean diet and show you just how easy it is to add to your everyday diet with a different menu plan every day of the week. And I'll throw in some extras just for kicks. And we're not just gonna be talking about the Mediterranean diet, we're actually gonna spend five days planning and eating together so that you can really get into this flow of a healthy way to eat every day and see the results. Since I've chapter marked each day, you can jump around if there's one food group that you're more excited to learn about than another, whether it's fruits and veggies, whole grains, proteins, or healthy fats. For this opening session, I'm gonna outline what's ahead for the week, what groceries would be helpful to have on hand, and give you a couple of super simple homework assignments to start things off. In the description, you'll find links to all of the recipes we'll be doing because this video would have been <laughs> insanely long if I tried to add them to this one. But right now, it's time to pull up a chair, grab a glass, and let's get started. First things first, this coming week will be a breeze if you knock down some barriers, and that means making sure you have what you'll need for the week prepped and ready to go. I spent a bunch of time mixing and matching all these different best combinations I could so that we can all see just how easy it is to fit all of these important ingredients into your everyday diet. But if you want to change one lunch or dinner for another, go right ahead. Or if you feel like the entire week is just too much of a heavy lift, just pick the recipes that look best to you and start with those. Or just pick one day. No need to jump in at the deep end if you're just learning to swim. I wish you could all be here with me gathering up goodies at the Mercado. It's my hands down favorite place in Alicante because it's filled with all sorts of great ingredients every day but Sunday. You'll find a link to a PDF in the description that you can download or print out to make sure you've got what it takes to make the week a success. I'm hoping you already have some of these things in your cupboards, so just tick those off the list and gather up the rest. If you have food allergies or certain foods you don't like, just skip over them. Second, when you get everything home, if you wanna wash and prep stuff, it might make things easier, but no worries. It won't take much to handle it day by day. Day one, homework. Today, you only have two homework assignments that'll take about 10 minutes and some shopping to do. And there's one extra bit that you can get extra credit for. The first is to simply download or print out the PDF from the description that'll give you the menu plans for the whole week and a shopping list to make sure you're ready to cook along with me if you want to. Second, it's a good idea to establish a baseline for your personal nutrition goals. So please head over to the other link in the description below to the USDA's website that calculates dietary intakes. It will literally take a couple of minutes and only requires that you plug in age, height, weight, and level of physical activity. That's it. No other personal stuff. You'll end up with a snapshot of what your current nutritional needs are. I'm not suggesting you need to go numbers crazy over this. It's just an interesting reminder of how many nutrients are important to a healthy lifestyle. And if you have particular health goals, like shedding a few pounds, lowering your cholesterol, or balancing your blood sugar, you really should follow up with the guidance of your doctor, nutritionist, or a registered dietitian. And third, if you wanna earn that extra credit, spend another 10 minutes making some hummus that you can use all week. And I'll see you in the morning. Welcome back. How'd you do with your homework? Did you learn anything interesting from your USDA report? What I love is that I can see all my key nutritional information at a glance, including how many calories I should be eating to maintain my weight. And when you consider that to lose a pound a week, you only need to reduce your calorie intake every day by 500 calories, it's easy to figure out what it takes. Hopefully your pantry and fridge are packed and ready to go because we're ready to get started on today's menu that highlights the value of fruits and veggies in your diet. I'm starting off the day with a simple yogurt smoothie, but it's a great way to remind me of what the theme is for today, fruits and veggies. And I'm dropping in a 
dollop of nut butter to add a little protein to my morning. So let's talk about why fruits and veggies are the cornerstone of the Mediterranean way to eat every day. You've probably heard that phrase, eat the rainbow, but what does it mean and why should you do it? It's easy. All fruits and veggies fall somewhere on the color scale and all those colors tell you something about what to expect when you eat them. Dark leafy greens will deliver boatloads of fiber and folate and carotenoids. Red is a pretty good indication that it's loaded with vitamin A, C, K, and potassium. The blue in blueberries and blackberries contains the powerful antioxidant anthocyanin. This whole range of fruits and veggies are packed with essential vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, fiber, and all of them do their part to reduce your risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, cancer, and obesity. All these nutrients help ensure you'll live longer and healthier. Simple, right? And if you follow the Mediterranean way to eat every day, you'll make these ingredients the biggest part of the plate and make sure you're enjoying a wide mix, anywhere from five to nine of these a day. We're gonna be celebrating all kinds of vegetables today for lunch and dinner and leftovers. So our biggest prep of the week is to roast a sheet pan packed with carrots and sweet potatoes, onion, garlic, bell peppers, and some cauliflower. And then I'm gonna crank up the Instant Pot to make a big batch of quinoa. Later, we'll blend these veggies into a soup that we'll enjoy for a light dinner tonight and freeze a portion or two for later in the week. You've seen me do this plenty of times. I give everything a light spritz of olive oil, some salt and pepper, pop it in the oven, and come back to it later. Everything we need for the day is on the way, so I'm grabbing a snack. It's citrus season here, so I always keep a pile of these mandarin oranges in the fridge for a little mid-morning bite. The veggies just have a few more minutes and it's lunchtime. So let's fluff up the quinoa and heat up the stove top for a quick salmon saute. The best part of this lunch is that we're taking care of tomorrow's dinner at the same time. I'm grilling enough salmon to cover what we'll need for tomorrow's salad and a big batch of quinoa can last for a week in the fridge or even longer in the freezer. And I have to fess up. On the PDF, you're gonna see it says grilled chicken and chicken salad tomorrow, but I forgot about the chicken <laughs> and I always have fresh salmon ready to go. So it's a teaching moment for me to show that you can mix and match whatever you've got and whatever you're in the mood for. So let's keep going. Doesn't this look awesome? We're going to use some of these veggies for our lunch and then we're gonna pile the rest into the soup pot and make up an incredible soup for tonight's dinner. Since I was a good student and I did my extra credit homework last night, I'm going to have a little afternoon snack of hummus and carrot sticks before we get ready to put together the soup. Time to put all the roasted veggies with whatever seasoning you like into the pot you like to use for making soup. Heat it up and blend it smooth. Add just a little bit of salt. Sometimes I add paprika, sometimes I add sumac, but today, I just wanna see how I can bring out all the wonderful flavors in this soup, simply with the flavors themselves. All that's left to do for dinner is to ladle up the soup and pile a bunch of healthy greens like watercress and tomato in a little side salad with a spritz of lemon and a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And that's it. I like to add things like a little bit of pumpkin seed to it. And I like to add chia seeds and sunflower and a little mix. Adds a little bit more texture and crunch to the whole dish. And of course, one of my favorites, crispy onion bits, and we're ready for dinner. When I first moved to Spain, I was so surprised that watercress is one of the most popular greens in every market. And now that I know it's the most nutrient dense plant on the planet, I use it even more. Tomorrow, we're making oatmeal for breakfast and chili for lunch. So if you wanna prep your overnight oats and have yourself covered for a few days, 
now is the day to do it. And measure out four cups of all sorts of beans and cover them with a brine of baking soda and salt by three inches. My video all about how to prepare the brine will have you completely covered for this one. So get a good night's sleep after all the hard work you did today. You deserve it. See you in the morning. I'm so glad to see you back in the kitchen with me. So while I enjoy the last of my hot oatmeal and fruit breakfast, let's talk about today's menu and the part of the diet that I'm most excited about, whole grains. It's been no big secret all my life. I love really good bread. And when it comes in the form of nutty, toasty, crunchy whole grains, it's hard for me to set a limit. Fortunately, they're all A-OK -okay when you eat the Mediterranean way every day, provided they're the right kind of carbs, loaded with plenty of slow-burning fiber and nutrients. So the most important part to remember is that it's the three fiber-rich whole parts of the grain that make it worth it, whether you're enjoying a hunk of bread or a bowl of pasta or a farro salad. The starchy endosperm provides slow-burning carbs, protein, vitamin B, and minerals. The germ, which delivers on healthy fats and vitamins, and the bran, the most concentrated part of fiber, minerals, and B vitamins. And refined grains have been refined to eliminate all that good stuff. So the most important part about this fiber? Well, it slows your digestion, keeps your blood sugar in balance, it reduces your blood cholesterol levels, and it supports a healthy gut and reduces the risk of some cancers. So I say, bring it on. Whether you prepped some overnight oats last night or made a hot bowl like I did, oatmeal is such a healthy whole grain to start the day. It's loaded with soluble fiber, antioxidants, lots of vitamins and minerals, and has more protein than most grains. So there's a lot to love in this little bowl. Plus, I always boost it even further with fresh fruit and a sprinkle of seeds and nuts like I did this morning. Our biggest job today is to fill the Instant Pot or a stovetop Dutch oven with the chili to set it and forget it. I absolutely love days when I can get an early start with just a little prep, knowing I'm making enough to fill the freezer with ready, set, go meals for later too. There's something therapeutic about preparing things like chili where I'm putting together so many ingredients and so much color. I love it. And by the way, I'm not putting all this bell pepper in the chili. I'm gonna save some for a quinoa bowl later on. And we've got every color, uh, almost every color of the rainbow. No blue, but that's okay. I've got black beans going in this thing too. Did you notice my beans almost doubled in size? So all I need to do is now drain off this clean water that I replaced the brine with, put it in the stock pot with all the other ingredients, and away we go. With the chili almost ready, the only prep left for the day is to whip up some guacamole and serve it with whole grain ground tortilla chips. I am so lucky to be able to get these blue corn chips here in Spain. They're packed with whole grain goodness. I love a bunch of lime in my guacamole. And my favorite spice for this kind of spicy dish is a mix called tagine. I just love it. It's time for an afternoon snack, so I'm grabbing some celery sticks and a little of my hands-down favorite snack staple of all time, almond butter. It's not very common in Spain, despite almonds being one of the biggest agricultural crops, but I know you can score a jar at grocery stores in the U.S. if you don't want to make homemade, which I do about twice a month. Keeps perfectly fine in the fridge and takes all of six minutes in the food processor. Mm-mm. Mm. Thanks a lot for hanging in there with me. I know it's a bunch to take in, but remember, you can always come back and replay a day at a time if it's better for your schedule. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> what a day. Tonight's dinner is all about making the most of all the hard work we already put in. So I'm assembling a whole grain quinoa bowl with that leftover salmon, some cucumber, bell pepper, baby spinach, corn, tomatoes, and red onion with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a spritz of lemon juice. And that's it. And dinner's ready. 
Just one little homework assignment tonight. You will thank me for tomorrow. Make some citrus pesto. Last year, I put together three different pestos in a video so that you could freeze them in ice cube trays and pull them out any night you're too tired to cook, but still want a tasty, healthy, easy dinner. These are absolutely lifesavers for me in my kitchen. And the citrus pesto one is the one I always run out of first. So I'm gonna sign off and get going on making some myself. See you in the morning. We're pushing ahead today to talk about the macronutrient that everybody thinks they don't get enough of and usually ends up getting way more than they need, protein. And the common myth is that if you follow a primarily plant-based diet like the Mediterranean way of eating, you're gonna come up short on protein. It's simply not true, especially when you think about all the common Mediterranean diet ingredients that are protein powerhouses chicken and fish like salmon, cod, sardines, and anchovies, legumes including all sorts of beans, lentils, and the ever-popular chickpeas, eggs, dairy, cheeses, nuts and seeds, and even the very occasional serving of red meat. When you eat the Mediterranean way every day, protein should make up about 20-25% of your total intake, balanced with 50% carbs and 25-30% to healthy fats. And keep in mind two things. Protein is critical for building and repairing muscles, bones, hormones, and tissues, but the body has nowhere to store excess protein if you take in more than you can use. So any excess gets converted into energy or fat. And if you take a look back at your USDA report, it'll give you a pretty good idea of just how much you need every day. Whether you like hard-boiled eggs, soft-boiled eggs, poached eggs, or omelets, these little globes are a perfect protein-packed way to start the day. I'm waking up with my one egg, two minute veggie omelet that's as thin as a wafer, but it's stuffed with baby spinach, tomato, and another solid source of protein, feta cheese. If you're a sleepy head like George, just hard boil some eggs as part of yesterday's homework and you'll have nothing to do but sit and enjoy a cup of coffee or tea while you wait for that slice of whole grain toast to pop out of the toaster. I also have some basil growing on the counter, so I can't resist not putting it in almost anything. So I'm going to sliver a little bit of basil to add to my omelet and make it an extra special, extra flavorful day. Guess what? No big prep today, or for that matter, the rest of the week. We're relying on work already done, getting out of the kitchen until it's mealtime, and spending our day enjoying some sunshine and exercise. Back in a minute. It was great to be able to get outside and enjoy another sunny day in Spain, but right now I'm going to have a little snack. Just a tiny bowl of yogurt and berries topped with a little of George's home-raised honey. Oof, it's so spectacular. And this will keep me going for the long morning because we usually don't have lunch here until about two in the afternoon. Until I put together the original video for this meal, I would never have believed I could sit down to such a completely balanced meal in less than 20 minutes with enough leftovers for another meal tomorrow. Truly, I go back to this combination time and time again. It's always on repeat. And the star of the plate is the super healthy Mediterranean diet protein, salmon, with supporting roles from steamed broccoli and pesto potatoes. And this is what I meant when I said put together some pestos and pop them in the freezer. This citrus pesto, I guarantee it will not last long in the freezer. I'm going to pop these cubes out, put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them back in the freezer, and save one for potatoes today. Whether you use the air fryer, like I'm planning on doing today, or the oven for more space, it amounts to the same effort. I start by roasting these potatoes, then after eight minutes, I add the salmon to the oven and start steaming the broccoli. 11 minutes later, I'm ready to plate lunch, tossing the potatoes with the citrus pesto and garnishing it all with a slice of lemon. Look at that. Awesome. We're gonna... Put them right into the bowl where we can toss them with the pesto. And I gotta say, this looks pretty good for 20 minutes time. I'm not really hungry for a snack today, but when you're looking for a little something something, a little bit of protein will help you stretch out the time between meals without feeling hungry. Whether you just want a handful of protein-rich almonds 
a hard-boiled egg, swooping up some protein-packed hummus with a few whole grain crackers. And I'm going to go for a little bit of these almonds because we grow them on the farm. We couldn't talk about protein in the Mediterranean diet without highlighting the humble bean. It's one of the greatest workhorses in kitchens all across the Mediterranean region and enjoyed almost every day. So today we're tapping into some black beans for dinner, wrapped up in a simple burrito stuffed with some lettuces, tomato, avocado, and salsa. And oh yeah, I'm smearing some of that citrus pesto on the tortilla to add a little extra bit of bright flavor to the meal and tossing in a little cheese too. Not a bit of homework today. Take the night off knowing you already have plenty of healthy ingredients ready to enjoy tomorrow when we focus on our final segment of the Mediterranean diet, healthy fats. So just relax, enjoy your evening, and I'll see you in the morning. Can you believe it? We're already wrapping up the week, but before we hang up our aprons, there's one more essential part of the Mediterranean diet that we've used every single day, but we haven't talked about it yet healthy fats, and why they're such an important part of your diet. So it's worth reviewing which fats are best, and which to avoid, and why. It's been a long-held myth that fats will make you fat. Maybe it's the fact that the word fat in most people's minds means overweight. But contrary to the concept that fats will, well, make you fat, we all need a certain amount of fat in our diets in order to function properly and be heart healthy. And it all depends on the kind of fat we include. There are three types of fats, saturated fat, think animal, polyunsaturated fat, think seafood, and monounsaturated fat, think plant. And the Mediterranean diet is famous for including the best kind, monounsaturated fat, all day long, in the form of extra virgin olive oil, avocados, nuts and seeds. The good news is that including it is one way to help combat the negative effects of high cholesterol in your bloodstream. And these healthy fats don't stop here. Eating the Mediterranean way every day boosts your diet with omega-3 fats from oily fish like salmon, sardines, and anchovies, chia seeds, walnuts, and soybeans. This morning's breakfast is the one I start with more than any other, whole grain toast slathered with almond butter and apple slices. George likes to top his off with a drizzle of honey from his bees, but I'm good to go straight up. And the healthy fat in the almond butter, along with the extra fiber from the whole grain baguette, keeps me feeling full pretty much all morning long. You didn't actually think I'd make you do a bunch of work on your last day, did you? I want to make sure you enjoy yourself so you keep coming back to my channel in the future. So today, we get to rest up while thinking about how to add healthy fats to our diet every day. I'm just in the mood for a little snack, so I'm going to grab a handful of heart-healthy polyunsaturated fats from protein-rich walnuts, along with another one of those mandarin oranges lurking around in my fridge for this morning's break. We're dipping into another serving of the roasted sweet potato and carrot soup that we enjoyed at the beginning of the week. So all we have to do is reheat it, give it a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, along with a side salad of watercress, some sliced tomatoes, nuts and seeds, all lightly dressed with the healthiest of all Mediterranean fats, extra virgin olive oil. Another massively healthy addition to any diet are the omega-3 healthy fats you get from sardines and anchovies. And what could be easier for a late afternoon snack? It's a very Mediterranean thing to do, to just crack open a can, break out some olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and enjoy tapas time, Spanish style. Even though we focused on salmon yesterday as the perfect protein partner, guess what? It's one of the best sources of super healthy omega-3 fats too. And since we prepared extra yesterday, we have enough left over to assemble a roasted salmon salad piled high with yesterday's cold pesto potatoes, baby spinach, chopped tomatoes, some healthy fats from seeds, a drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and tonight I'm going to treat myself to a glass of red wine and invite you to join me if you're so inclined. You'll notice in your PDF that there is one more day to this healthy eating plan, and it's filled with making the most of all the healthy leftovers we already created. Plus, I threw in five more menus of the day just to give you some more food for thought. I'm so incredibly honored that you stuck with me through the whole week. I hope it helped you get started or keep going on this healthy journey we're all on. See you in the next video.